Hello guys, so you remember in a previous video we were discussing how you can create a splash screen for Android and iOS in Flutter using the package Flutter Native Splash. So today I've decided to show you how you can achieve that but without using any packages. I mentioned that in the last video and now I just want to show you in a visual concept. So before we start, there are two tools which you need. First of all, you need Android Studio which will help you in changing the XML file for Android. Then you need Xcode which is found or which can be found on devices or PCs with Mac OS um, and this will assist you in changing the launch story keyboard for iOS devices. So let's start. So we'll start with Android and see how we can achieve this. Okay, so I'll show you an example on one of my apps called My Sports. By the way, download My Sports on Google Play Store and Apple Store. And the moment you create the app, it will come with this metadata right here, which will show you the resource, which is for the splash screen drawable, which is this drawable. It will be found in drawable launch background, which is in turn what we would call the white screen. In our cases, when we say, how can you blend with the white screen so this will just be or will just be color white uh, essentially so this is what you need to change in uh, as Once an exchange that you can change your splash screen so let's open android studio on our app test app and see how we can do this okay so i've opened test app right here this is the application. I've opened the Android folder for test app. It was in Android Studio, you would need to open the Android folder as it is. That's test app right there. Then you'd go in res drawable. Then if you still remember from the previous tutorial, we had changed this, right? So we had already changed this to something. Now, once you click this and open, you see, okay, so this is what comes out. As you can see, this is the code which I showed you in the previous tutorial um, uh, which shows uh, this background image which is called in this case background right and it's right there that's the background image then this uh, logo which is at the center that's the one called splash and it will be put to the center so essentially this is how they just do it but let me just uh, take some code uh, from from my previous app and show you if we just remove all this and just put a basic like from the very very start and you see what it will look like okay so in general your app will start off looking like this so this is what we would call the white screen so once i change this color and just put a different color it will show a different color essentially here so it will uh, output as a different color then you as you can see it will come uh, with the with the, some commented uh, notes here which say if you want to insert an image then you just remove this then put your image there so I think we can just do that right now let me just uncomment this and you see okay so mip match uh, let's just check which images we have. We have IC Launcher. IC Launcher is the, I think that's the Flutter image, I think. Pretty sure. Just want to see. Then there we go. So once I do this, it will put a background image of white. In this case, you will not be able to see the background image as it is here, but it will be there. Uh, it will be covering the whole, the, 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 the screen there then item right which is the mip map it will just put this image at the center and once you do this it will then run the code and you would have changed your splash screen so in our case we can also put our logo there uh, okay like this so as you can see i've changed this to my logo which is this one drawable uh, uh, splash then I put it to center as well, right? So the moment we run this up, you see that it will output the exact 
uh, thing that okay, we guys. So let's move on to IS. Now for IS, you obviously need Xcode, right? This is Xcode, and uh, Xcode will allow you to change the files necessary. Um, and you just go under Rana, then also under Rana as well. Then you see this called the Launch Story Storyboard, which is basically the uh, splash screen in essence. And as you can see, it has that original image which we had also in Android. So in Android, it has already changed, but here it's still the same. So that's that's also something that you will notice that you can change individually for different platforms. Um, so it is this image, then it is the splash image as well, uh, as you can see. So this image view, that's the, the background, then the launch image. So you can do a lot of things here and just change. For example, for this image view, I can delete it. Remember, for Android, we just left it as a white screen. So you can just do this, leave it as a white screen, uh, change it, make it accessible and make it uh, cool and make it, you know, something that you want for, 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 for your splash screen on iOS. You can change the background color, uh, maybe say black. There, there are so many options, uh, some gradients as well. There's blue, there's green. So you can do a lot of things with this, you know, and you can just change it up and just make it uh, your own as well. You can put it to the center as well. You can scale to feel. Of course, this won't look nice for, for our for our image. But if you have one image, which is like a big, big image, like those complex, um, complex uh, images, you can just scale to feel, do everything which you want and put it to the center ETC, right? So you can also change this image as well. Uh, this is the launch image, right? So as you can see, it uh, these images are, are saved in, uh, as you can see here, yeah, that's the image. And these images are saved in the assets folder. So we already have two images. These are icons. Uh, we have two images. Now in assets, as you can see, this one called assets. There's an assets file in iOS. And it stores the app icon, which is, this is still the same. Uh, as we had the launch background, which is that background uh, which we were using, the launch image, which is the uh, one which is centered, then create a new uh, file for for those images, and I'll just call new uh, pick. We just say new pick. Then once I do this, I can all, all obviously change uh, these images and just change them to something that I want. So I can go to pictures then let me just select this yeah so I can just select my pick like this then if I go back to launch story keyboard um, I can change this launch image to sorry I can change this launch image to that new pick and to just use that picture like that so voila you have already changed and you can play around with it in whichever ways you want. So this is pretty great. Uh, we can run the app and see what it will look like. It will look like if you open and there it is. That's the new splash screen. So that's now the new splash screen for the app. So this is pretty cool. And this is how you change um, your splash screen without using any packages. Now let's just talk advantages and disadvantages of using these methods. One advantage which I see from this is that you can uh, change, for example, we put a, a, a logo splash screen for Android, but in this case, we just put a different, like for my image, which means users can see different. So maybe if you want to show something that is an Android feature on Android, it will just, you can just do that for Android. Then for iOS, you show something which is an Apple feature, something like that for, for your splash screen. And this actually One of is the biggest disadvantages, of course, is you are using Xcode, which is found on Mac OS devices, which means for people with Windows uh, machines, they cannot be able to do this, right? They can only change for, for, for Android, but can't change for iOS. And so that's why sometimes the plugin really does help and the plugin really does work because plugins, you know, plugins, um, of course, another advantage you, you'd say, well, you are not using any package. I, I get that. There are some people who don't want to use packages because sometimes packages 
cause vulnerability, security, breakages as well. Uh, but you know, packages sometimes make work easier for 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 you, and you can just do this, and and you know, um, it it will be great. One thing I think will help though, like if you if you use a packet and Flatten. change the splash screen, then remove flattenate uh, splash. I think it works because it would have changed the the XML file and the launch story keyboard already. So. You know that that's just some hack which you might want to try so thank you so much guys for watching make sure you subscribe and peace out